Hi and welcome back to the channel Christy Clan Adventures. Thank you for stopping along. This is a review of uh, the Lavalier Go uh, Road Microphone, which is the lapel mic, and we're going to test it out in the field, on the bikes, traveling at a little bit pace to see how it picks up with your voice and with the wind noise. Uh, so as always, subscribe, ring the bell, uh, and uh, see how this uh, goes along. Quite hopeful this one. We also got it uh, with a, a dead cat, which is an additional mounting you put over the top of it uh, to try and reduce the sound even further. So let's move into the video because this is going to be a good one. Hi guys, I'm testing out today the Rode Lavier mic. Uh, I'm going to be using this one. It comes uh, with a shield, but this one also comes with a, a dead cat. So I'm going to be testing out to see how the dead cat is on it. The main reason again is to try and see if we can take away the wind noise when we're out on the bike, uh, which isn't too good for when you're uh, listening and viewing the videos that we're producing. So let's see how this one works out and uh, we'll give you more details during the video. So just fitting up. Loosely the now, uh, the Road Lavier mic. Uh, we'll see how this one works. Uh, so again, face down a wee bit. This is the Road Lavier mic, and uh, we've just loosely fitted it onto Finley's shirt. Uh, the problem if it works well, we'd maybe put a wee attachment to the side or run it up in through his clothes, but uh, we're just testing it and seeing how it works. So let me see. This is going to be any good. Yeah, here we go. This is a road lavier. So that was a test with uh, the Road Lavier mic, and we've got the dead cat on that one. So let's, I, I'm, I'm quite hopeful that that's going to work. Uh, I think it could be one of the better ones. It's uh, probably the more expensive out of uh, the options on the table at this time. Uh, let's see if this is uh, going to be any good. Yeah, we've done a couple of tests head down. And uh, I think what we're finding, and this is a collective, is a road lavier mic with a dead cat on it is just different class and that was just for doing a, a quick up and down slow speed so what finley's now going to do he's going to go away on the bike uh, head up in that direction do a wee circuit down some stairs uh, through uh, some trees he'll be away for about three to four minutes uh, and then come back and uh, we'll have a quick look to see what the, the difference is rather than just going on some straight ground but uh, on you go finley let's see how you you like that one? Go! Road Lavier mic, uh, we've definitely decided that this one's the best. Very brutal looking. Oh, really shows quite how good the all set down to for our is. Really great bike. And right now, paired with a pretty good mic too. <laughs> uh, but Dad was saying that this one was definitely the dearest, so I mean, just shows you get what you pay for, right? There's some really nice areas to ride in here in Scotland. Uh, I really hope we can uh, show you guys all the stuff we are able to ride around here in Scotland. Ah, oh, crap. Well, what happened?
Alright guys, hope you enjoyed a wee small run around. We'll see you in a while. <laughs> wow, so that's a review done of uh, the Lavalier Go uh, Rode microphone. Uh, I actually thought that was a really good mic and a good test for it. Uh, certainly uh, it could be one of my choices, but uh, I'm going to do another comparison, pull them all together between all the mics we've tested and the wind uh, shield for the GoPro, uh, and we'll do a comparison side by side. Uh, that should be on one of our videos, and the links will probably be down in the comments as well. So, uh, as always, appreciate your support uh, on this channel, and uh, I hope uh, that what we're putting forward for yourself is helping you to make some uh, informed decisions and choices uh, to support you when you're out in the field on your mountain bikes, running, motocross, or even out an enduro like what we're doing in time. So, thank you, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.